Hello, in this session we will talk about connecting to SAP HANA 1 database using HDB SQL tool. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. In a typical environment, SAP HANA 1 database runs on a separate machine, we call it a server, and we can make connections to the database from client machines. On client machines, we have SAP HANA client running, which makes connection to the database and on top of that client we have SAP HANA Studio running okay and Studio is used for two purposes for development purpose as a development tool and also for administration purpose we can control SAP HANA database through this tool however when SAP HANA 1 database is installed in our case we simply rented the virtual machine from the Amazon Web Services along with the database you also get a tool called HDB SQL stands for HANA Database SQL this could be compared with Oracle's SQL Plus tool it is a command line tool that gives you access to SAP HANA 1 database you cannot talk to the database directly you need a tool to send commands to the database and database then responds back to the commands so in this session we will make a connection to SAP HANA database through this tool mainly to verify if database is up and running properly or not in the previous session we did start the database so it should be up we will verify if it's up or not and we will connect to the database we will issue some basic commands and then we will exit this tool SAP HANA instance is running right now I'm going to select this and go to actions and choose connect connect to an instance window opens up and I'm connecting as root user and this is my private key location which is stored in a PAM file PEM file click on launch SSH client button Java based mind term window opens up and you see this message do you want to add this host to your set of known host choose yes I'm connected to the Linux server as root user I need to change my user to the one that owns SAP HANA database and that is HDB ADM user HANA database administrator so the command I'm going to enter is su space dash space HDB ADM hit enter in the previous session we started the SAP HANA database by using the command HDB and then we passed the parameter start to the command so that started the database so it should be up and running at this point if the database is up and running still then the command HDB info should give you the services that are running for the database so I'm gonna remove the parameter start and enter info instead run the command by hitting the enter key so all these services are up as you can see they belong to the HANA database and in order to stop the database you will pass the command HDB stop and hit enter this will stop the database and I'm not gonna do that as I said earlier you just start the database once and you can shut down your virtual machine by selecting the action stop on the instance that you have rented from Amazon you do not have to bring the database up when you connect to that instance next time by bringing it up going into actions and choosing start so it database remains started now we will launch HANA databases interactive terminal by entering the command HDB SQL and hit enter using this HDB SQL tool we can communicate directly with the HANA database without having the need to have access to SAP HANA studio the tool is launched but I still have to make a connection to the database and that is my next step as you can see you can issue the backslash each command to see the list of commands that are available and you can issue backslash Q to get out of this tool okay but now we need to make a connection to the database for that we use the C command 
so backslash C, C for connect. There are a few parameters you need to pass to the C command. The first one is the instance number and that would be dash I, so backslash C space dash I space and the instance number is zero zero. You can have multiple instances on the same machine and we have uh, one instance running. So this is not the virtual machine instance. We are the instance is referring to the SAP HANA software that is running on the machine. The next flag or parameter that I'm going to pass on to this connect command is dash n which points to the machine on which database is running. Keep in mind HDB SQL tool is running on the same machine where HANA database is running but you can use this tool to connect to any other database as well maybe running on a different machine. So in order to tell the system I want to connect to the HANA database running on this machine, I'm going to simply use localhost keyword rather than the IP address. And now I need to specify the port after hitting the colon character here. The listener of HANA database is listening on a specific port when we did the initial configuration of the database you saw that port and it starts with 3 and followed by the instance number our instance is 00 for the HANA database and then it is 15 now we have to specify the username of the database to which we will be connecting there could be multiple users in the database just like there could be multiple users at the operating system. So that parameter is passed as dash u flag, dash u space, the user is system, all in uppercase, then the password for the system that would be passed as a flag dash p. The default password is manager in lower case. I did specify a different password through the configuration of the database that we did before we logging into the Linux machine but sometimes the password doesn't change so I'm gonna try the default password hit enter and if everything is properly entered you should be able to connect to the database and apparently I am connected so now you know how to connect to the Linux environment where SAP HANA database is running how to change user from root to HDB ADM which owns the database software and how to launch HDB SQL tool and how to make connection from this tool to the database. You can change the password of the user system and this is something that has to be done on production environments but since this is a learning environment I'm going to show you how to change the password. Alter is the command that is used alter user this is an SQL command then the name of the user for which you're changing the password for us it's system in uppercase and then the keyword password and then the new password so let's say I want the new password to be this and hit enter next time when I make a connection to the system through HDB SQL tool I have to use this new password there is a dummy table in a relational database that lets you select some constant values from this table that are not really dependent on any other table. This table has one row and one column. In Oracle, for example, it's called a dual table. Here it's called a dummy table. Let's see if we can select data from this table that will give, give us a clue if system is working properly or not. Select star from dummy, star meaning all the columns, there is only one column. So select star from the table name is dummy, hit enter. Here you are seeing the contents of the dummy table. It has only one column dummy and one value x in it so the data looks good. You can hit the Q key to come back to this screen. You can enter some built-in commands from HDB SQL tool to give you some meaningful information on what is residing in the database. For example, if you want to list all the tables, you can issue this command backslash dt. This will list all the tables. But keep in mind that this command is actually sending an SQL behind the scenes to the database and database is returning the result in response to the SQL. You can write the SQL yourself too. That will involve selecting data from 
the data dictionary tables. The data dictionary or meta tables are provided by the system to give you some meaningful information regarding the system. For example, the tables, views, and what are the owners or u database users that are owning those tables and views, etc. You can hit enter key to scroll down and to look at all the records. You can hit Q to get out of this output screen. I can achieve the same result by selecting columns of my interest directly from the data dictionary table called M underscore tables. So select table name from M underscore tables. The column I'm interested in is table name and the data from the table I'm selecting is M tables. Hit enter so you are seeing all the tables that are residing in the system. Let me hit Q and let me modify this SQL a bit. So select The database users are also referred to as a schema, so the column in this M underscore tables for that purpose is called a schema name. So select schema name, schema underscore name, comma, table underscore name from M underscore tables. This will give me the list of tables and also who owns that uh, those tables because when you create a table you can create under a certain database user or schema so let's hit enter and I'm seeing all the tables in the system along with the owners of those tables this is pretty much the same result that we saw from the DT command I can hit enter to go down the list and hit Q to get out of this output screen so the purpose of this session was to make a connection to the SAP HANA database using HDB SQL tool and just to verify if the database is running properly. We did make a connection. We also changed the password for the user system. We did some SQL and now we want to exit. In order to exit, you enter the command Q. So backslash Q will exit you from this tool. Now you're back to the Linux prompt. At this point, you can shut down your virtual machine by issuing actions stop command from the control panel of Amazon Web Services. We do not have to shut down the database, but if you want to shut down the database, the command would be hdb stop.